he's being so defensive and jumping towards me, immediately I need to figure out what to do. And I can see this glue trap on his wing. He's trying to protect himself. I wrapped him with a towel that I had and then laid him down gently. They are nocturnal. So it was really sad to know that he was suffering for maybe hours. It was mainly one feather that was stuck really bad. So I held onto that feather and I slowly pulled. I was more so concerned about not hurting him. The second I pulled off the glue trap, he was instantly calm. Owls are such beautiful creatures, you know, you never really think about it till you're up close and personal with them. You're kind of like, oh my God, those claws would mess me up. <laughs> You could tell that he had tried really hard to get that glue trap off himself because there was glue all over his talons. I knew I couldn't just leave him out there with glue on his wing, like he's not gonna be able to fly. I'm gonna have to clean him up. So I went home, I got a big old cup of vegetable oil, and I just sit there and I just slowly, with each wing, cleaned him off. It's still a wild animal, so you still have to be very careful. So I just took my time and I was really patient with him and I think he knew that I was there to help him. I just sat there and cleaned off each talon. I was able to finally open it up to where I could see his entire claw and I just individually cleaned every single one. He was very calm and very patient with me. So I took it off of him, I took him out of the blanket and I held him up, just calm, like instantly calm. He just sat there, stared at me and seemed so thankful. You could just see the relief on his face. Like, okay, this isn't what I thought it was. Someone's here to help. I spent some time with him, made sure he had water available. He was just ready to go. I drove not too far from where I found him. I held him up and he took off. I watched him fly off. I was kind of like, I really just did that, you know? 